Hello, hello. I am, this is Renee Parker here. I am going to wait just a minute for a few people to join. I have a 30-day challenge for you, all, for you guys tonight. Hey, Sabrina. Um, I have a 30-day challenge for you guys tonight, and I'm really excited to share it with you. Um, so, I'm going to wait just a little bit. We have about 10 people logging on now, and of course, people will log on a little bit um, as we wait here. Someone else is periscoping. All right. Hey, Missy Shivey. <clears throat> All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started as more people are, are logging on tonight. Um, are you up for a challenge? That is my question for you. I am really excited about this because I truly believe that when uh, something just keeps coming up, in my, either in my mind, I read something about it, and then the next thing you know, there's a video that I've watched about it, I think, okay, all right, God, I know you're telling me what to do here, so I'm here to share this challenge with you. This is something I'm challenging myself to do. And I'm challenging my team and, of course, any of you in Plexus who would like to participate, you are more than welcome to do this. This is my challenge to you, and it's going to sound a little bit crazy in the beginning. You're going to think, oh, how am I going to do that? But my challenge to you is in the next 30 days, so today is January 11th, I want you to count 30 days off of the calendar, and in the next 30 days, I want you to send 100 texts out to friends and family. Wow, 100 texts. That sounds a little bit crazy, doesn't it? Well, simply do this. I want you to take 100 texts, divide that by 30 days. And you know how many that ends up being per day? Hey, Jamie Rogers. Um, it ends up being about three to four texts per day. We have someone asking, what is Plexus? Plexus is a health and wellness company. We have an incredible... Um, we have an incredible line of products that are changing people's lives, and we also have a great business opportunity. I use Periscope to help train my team, and we're doing training, so feel free to, to stay tuned, and um, you can learn a little bit more about what we do. So this challenge is great. I mean, absolutely incredible for people who just joined our business since, let's say, October 1st. Um, and honestly... What I'm going to start challenging every single new ambassador on my team to do is in their first 72 hours, send 10 texts per day in 72 hours. So uh, we want these people to start making, all of our new team members, everyone should be making their list of 100. If you were at Super Saturday, you heard about how to use the Franks method, which is, you know, your friends, your relatives, your acquaintances, uh, your people in your neighborhood, um, kids' connections, and uh, social clubs. So if you think about how many people you know when you go down the Franks method, you know that you know more than 100 people. But this is the key. Eric Worre has actually been teaching this. Um, he sent out a video today about this and is challenging people to do this, and I think it's a great thing. Um, to send these texts out, and of course he's saying not, not Facebook, you know, not sending an email. Text is the key. Um, texting is what the main tool that people are using nowadays to communicate. So our challenge is, is to get people's phone numbers so you can text them um, whenever you meet people in your network. But every new ambassador in your first 72 hours, make a list of at least 10 a day and send 10 texts a day in 72 hours. Those of you who have been around for a while, then our challenge for you is to do 10, I'm sorry, 100 texts in 30 days, which is about three to four texts per day. It's very doable. You can do that in your uh, spare time. If you work a full-time job, you can do it on your 15-minute breaks. You can schedule appointments with people, and this is what we're going to be doing. These texts that we send to people, we're not just going to be vomiting plexus all over them, are we? No, we're not. We're going to actually set an appointment. So what you could do is you can text people um, and say, hey, I would love to meet up for coffee. When would be a good time for you? How about lunch? I haven't seen you in a long time. I'd like to catch up. Or what's your schedule look like? I'd like to talk to you about something. So if you send these messages out to people, you're most likely going to get a reply. 
Now, what kind of replies may you get? You might get replies that say, <clears throat> you know what? If you want to talk about plexus with me, then no. If you just want to meet up for coffee, sure. And you can say, great, I just want to meet up for coffee. I just want to meet up with you and build that relationship. This is all about building relationships because what happens is, is of course, plexus is going to come up. It's what you do. It's what you're passionate about. So you're going to be able to share it. Um, and it may not be for them. And if it's not for them, it's okay. But you have to set these appointments in order to build relationships. So my challenge for you is in the next 30 days to, to get with 100 people. Are all 100 people going to meet up with you? Probably not. But you might get 10 or 15 or 20 to meet up with you. And if you can, meet up with them face to face. That is the key. Of course, if you have people across the country, you'll set a Zoom meeting or a telephone call or something like that. But this is the thing. This is really scary to do this. <clears throat> Some of you know that may be on here tonight. Know that last night I stepped way outside of my comfort zone and I sent uh, seven messages <clears throat> to people that were on my chicken list. Okay? And these people on my chicken list and one was on my dream team list. I sent these messages out and oh my gosh, I was sick to my stomach. I was like, oh, what are they going to say to me? You know? And I, it, they were all well-received. Some of them haven't replied to me. I don't think some of them use Facebook all the time. And I sent it by Facebook because some of them I didn't have their phone numbers yet. <clears throat> um, some of them haven't read them. Others that have read them have gotten back to me and were well-received. So I was fearful. I had butterflies just like you. I'm just a normal person. I have the same fears that I have to conquer. Um, but the thing is, is that if you conquer your fe fears, you will come out on the other side um, with lots of great results along the way. And you know what? We are our own boss. You are your own boss. So it's up to you. I can't do this for you. Your upline can't do this for you. Your downline can't do this for you. You have to do this. So get out your phone. Get out your calendar. Start sending some text messages. <clears throat> get some people's phone numbers. Get out your calendar and schedule some meetings with people. Schedule some, get in front of people and build relationships. Do you work full time? We just kind of covered this a while ago. I understand. When I got started, I worked 55 hours a week and I was taking nine college credit hours, coming home to four children. I was the busiest person I knew. But it's so, so important that you use the nooks and crannies of your day. That may mean that you get up 15 or 20 minutes earlier. It may mean that you stay up 15 or 20 minutes later. It may mean that on your lunch break, you are constantly sending out messages or meeting with people for lunch. You may be using your 15-minute breaks to send messages. It's okay. Um, this is how it works. If you're going to succeed in this business, you must do this type of daily activity, income-producing activities. And that's my challenge to you. Remember that texting is better over all other tools. And when you meet with people, I have some notes I'm wanting to cover. When you meet with people, don't bring it up. Just let it come about naturally. Don't bring up the business that you're in. Let it come about naturally. We have products that are changing people's lives. It's going to come up. We have an opportunity that's changing people's lives. It's going to come up. You're excited about Super Saturday. You're excited about going to convention. It's going to come up. Don't worry about how it's going to come up. It will come up, but let it come up naturally. Build the relationships first. The business will come afterward. I can promise you that. So, if you love the challenge, give me some hearts. A 30-day challenge, 100 texts, that's an average of 3 to 4 texts per day. If you think that you can do this and you're willing to do this, then I want you to contact me. Send me some messages on Facebook and let me know how it's going. Give me some feedback. I don't care who you are. I want to hear from you. This is the type of thing that I love. I love encouraging people. I love doing the challenges with you. And I believe that as we're doing this, we're going to be setting ourselves up for success. All right, Sabrina, send me a message. So that's all I really wanted to share for tonight. I hope that this helps you. I'm excited about it, and I can't wait to see how this challenge goes over the next 30 days. That's it for tonight. Thanks, guys.